This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution, featuring the Orion HOTAS current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Time for our next naval request, 53 from you guys. Do turpits. That's all I've got. That's literally all I was told. So I have to go and do turpits. So, thinking of turpits, it was attacked by the RAF and the British Navy, Royal Navy, from 1943 to 1944. It was something of a compulsion from the British. They just had to sink the turpits because the turpits could have done so much damage. It was hidden in a fjord in northern Norway, sinking battleships. Unless you get a lucky hit, like the lucky hit against uh, HMS Hood, is an extremely difficult thing to do. So, to sink the turpits took this, at least this I should say. Operation Source. Several X-Craft midget subs were sent to lay mines, which did actually work, and they blew the turpits up, and it caused massive damage, but it did not sink. Next, Operation Tungsten. 40 bombers and 40 fighters were sent over to attack it. Bombs did hit it, several. But again, battleships are very hard to sink, and it stayed afloat. Next, Operation Planet, Brawn, Tiger Claw, and Mascot were all cancelled due to bad weather. That's a Norway thing. Next, Operation Goodwood 1 and 2. A total of 38 bombers and 43 escort fighters did hit it, but didn't sink it. Operation Goodwood 3. 48 bombers, 29 fighters, hit no sink. Operation Goodwood 4. 34 bombers... 25 fighters, no sink. Finally, she was sunk with Operation Catechism. Sorry for the pronunciation, I can't actually pronounce Catechism. that. Catechism. 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 Yep. 32 RAF Lancasters dropping 29 tall boys. These are the massive penetrator bombs designed for taking down bridges and stuff like that. I think two hit it. You know, massive, massive Moab type bombs. And finally, she went under. So it took, in World War II, at least 192 bombers and 137 fighters, plus the midget craft, to sink her. That's how hard it was to sink a battleship without any, you know, lucky magazine hits or something. So without any specification of what you wanted to attack it with, I have decided. Attempt 1. Period accurate. We're going to send 16 B-17s with two mosquitoes, giving a total of 200 500 pound bombs that we're going to drop. We're going to drop them 20,000 feet roughly. We're going to make it perfect condition for the bombing. Bombing with old aeroplanes is not easy, so it's going to be relatively clear weather. It's going to be zero wind, because as soon as you put wind, high altitude bomb drops are almost impossible. And we're going to see the best that these B 17s could have done. Uh, then we're going to bring in a Vietnam era Arclight B 52 run. Arc light missions were whole squadrons of B-52 sent out to remove grid squares in the Vietnam battlefield. And we're going to remove this grid square here. Now, eight B-52s is actually quite a small arc light mission, but we wanted to keep it relatively controllable. So that will be eight B-52s and two FA-18Cs with a total of 428 500 pound Bombs. If that doesn't sink it, then bring on the nuke, I suppose. I'll see predictions. Do you think, in perfect conditions, a 16-man B-17 flight could sink it? And do you think a small B-52 arc light mission could sink it? Maybe the B-52. Roger, I don't think B-17 B is going to be accurate enough. No. I, don't, I don't think they're going to be. But B-52s will be more accurate, and it will carry at least twice as many bombs. So enough bombs on it will kill it eventually right stand by and welcome in here is our 16 beautiful b-17s in defensive box formation with myself and rc out the back say hello rc hello uh you've got two options rc the turpits is in front of us by about 10 miles we're at 20,000 feet you can either stick with the blob which is to be honest what i'm gonna do because it's probably the safest thing for us bearing in mind turpits will fire at us even with a uh, 15 inch guns i think she's gonna fire at us uh, even at 20,000 feet and just bomb with the B-17s or you can go down and go Maverick and try and do low level. It really is up to you. The bomb switches and that double pull switch at the yep. top. Hold up. Right, let me get this. Oh uh -oh. my god! Um, how do these things happen? Look at that! I mean, if you're going to go out in style... Right, that might need a... Uh, I'm missing a wing. That may need a reset, I'd say. At least the damage model's working. Yeah. 
I wonder if you could trim that out. Right, that's uh, we'll cut that out of the video. They'll never see. Uh, a nice smooth star fade should sort this out. Three, two, one, go. Where are you? Right, I'm going down, Naughty. Don't come down on top of me. Just come straight down. Unbelievable. Right, okay. <laughs> well, I'm coming straight yes, down. I'm not going to the left. No, right. that's excellent news. Sweet. Really easy to get to this thing. That's sarcasm, by the way. No, oh, there go the flaps. Ah, I hate trying to get this little bomb bay thing. It's impossible. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can switch to your seats and do it. Uh, oh well. Good day. Right. I've lost the B-17s, but I am ready to bomb. They're right above me. Bomb bay doors open. Right. Okay, I've got to go back in formation. They're actually really shifting, really shifting. So go Are full off here. Low? No, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go right behind them at co altitude. I think we've got a bit of drag from my bombays as well, but it's best to keep them open, I think. We don't know when they're going to bomb. I'm going bombays up because I can't keep up with these suckers. Bombays up. Just don't forget to undo it. Bombay doors open. Right, I'm ready to bomb. God, imagine. Oh, I guess you're reliant on your bomb aimer at this point. Well, look, the pilot certainly can't see the baddie. You're reliant yeah. on your navigator and your and your bomb aimer completely. Wow, being a World War II pilot was all about teamwork. Sorry, a World War II bomber pilot was all about teamwork. Well, you couldn't bomb in the clouds. No, you can't bomb in the clouds because it's all visual. Not from B-17 anyway. Right, I'm in formation. Their bomb bay doors are open, their bomb bay doors are open. If you're far behind, you'll need a little delay before you drop your bombs. Obvious yeah. reasons. Bombs away. My sticks are out. Oh, that looks so freaking cool. I'm peeling up out of here because I can see some AAA coming in. AAA coming in. I'm getting out of here. What are we bombing? Bombing the turpets, I see. We're bombing the turpets. Oh, okay. I know you weren't listening, but we are bombing the turpets. Yeah, right, here we go. But you were asking about the ship thing, and I was. Mm. The turpets is the ship, by the way. Where? We just, just. Oh, you had to drop. Yeah. You, you know what? You'll be, you'll find a way. I see. Oh, direct hits of midships. Direct hit amidships. Oh my god, that's inaccurate bombing. Oh. <laughs> Our bombs went everywhere. Yeah, we bombed the entire. Oh, I think she's tipped over. No, she's not. It's just my eyes. My eyes. bombs are still dropping. Unbelievable, RC. Well, that let's see how accurate. Yeah, pretty close. All right. Well, you could, you could, you could get lucky. I, mean, I doubt it, but they're going to be not too far off. All right. Well, we bombed so, the fjord. Off. We bombed the fjord. So maybe we splash all the water out of the fjord and we can beach it that way. Oh, you're only five miles away, RC. Right, let's have a look at Damaja. She's still pounding us with her guns, look. Okay, amidships is completely wrecked. Look at that. God, I love the damage model. I just say massive kudos to the guys that make these models. Hawkeye and all of Hawkeye's friends. Um, lots of them do it. Uh, it's just amazing that they do it. Right, uh, she's still firing. Wow, that was weird. Oh, one of us crashed. That was probably me because I've been out of cockpit. Paused. Okay, we did a measly sixth percent of damage or fifth percent of damage. Basically, we scratched the paint. So that was 200 bombs, 200 bombs. All the B-17 survived. I crashed, but obviously I was out of cockpit, so we all survived, but it was just ineffective. The bombs weren't accurate enough. Maybe three bombs hit, maybe four bombs hit. You just can't get accurate enough with B-17s. And welcome to our period inaccurate B-52 arc light bombing session. Eight bombers with... 428 Mark 82 slicks. I'll see. Are you ready? Ready. Right. We're not going to have a problem keeping up at least, even with the box engines. Right. Air to ground. Check. Master arm. Check. Select the bomb. Check. Mode. Uh, manual. Mechanical fuse. Nose. Electronic fuse. Instant. Ah. That's me done. Right. <laughs> Please don't hit the bombers. I'll see. I have a problem here. You've got a problem. Right. Well, that time you can't even catch up B-52s. That's the problem I'm having right now. You can't? I can. I found the reheat button. B-52s on speed. Grid square removal. Why is this? Right, uh, you're going to have less time because these are going twice as fast as the B-17s. 
Now, I should say, valued viewers, these can go a lot higher than 20,000 feet, so we could technically go way above the AAA range of the turpits, but I thought, wouldn't it be cool if a B-52 got shot down by the turpits? Oh, and it literally just happened! What One <laughs> oh, God loves me today. Look oh, at that. Boy. Lucky One shot. Down. One down. Wow. I didn't actually think it was going to happen. Amazing. Look at that. The turpits. Jet oh, we shot another down. What the heck is going on? I've, pra I've practiced about 10 times just to get everything, you know, working. And never once did one get shot down. We're down to six. We may have to rerun this, but... Okay, sticks are out, sticks are out. Cap is sticks out. Get some, baby! Woo! Wow, just B-52s dying in the background. Amazing. Right. What if it's shooting at him? The 15-inch gun, you said? Uh, yes, I think it, it did, and it did in real life use the, the main armament as well as all the small armament. Oh, okay. And... Oh my goodness! We're okay, I think. Wow! The whole fjord just got... I mean, we must have had about 300 bombs there. I can't believe it shot so many B-52s down. Look at that. Now, that's really interesting because it, after being destroyed, its guns, the turret, its guns are full of full elevation. And I was watching a video yesterday about the finding of the Scharnhorst wreck, the World War I Scharnhorst, and after being hit, its guns were in that full elevation. What is it about direct turret hits that put the guns at full elevation? It's so interesting. Anyway, uh, this... Wow, was that RC? Oh, was that you? Yeah. Wow, look at that, you hit it. I'm very proud of you, RC. Look at you, and you haven't even been practicing. Okay. It's pretty wrecked. Uh, Anton, turret's dead. This turret's dead. Amidships is dead. Oh, it's dead. It's just dead. Right, so. Gotta I'm be gonna, dead, I'm right? Pause it took it. a lot of hits. It's gone. It's wiped off the map, so it's sunk. It may not actually sink because uh, <laughs> the fjord is so, you know, like in real life, the fjord is, is just not very deep. But it's dead. So the arc light mission with just six, two were shot down. Amazingly, one in a million. It was killed. Why don't we... I'm just having a sadistic thought. Why don't we add some more battleships? I'm just thinking, how many can we destroy? Like they say, the only thing better than sinking a battleship is sinking six battleships. Here are six turpitzes. We've put the bombers up to 30,000 feet so they can't get shot down. And let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Oh, cons. Absolute definite cons, I'll see. Okay, they're doing a thing. Oh, they're diving. Where are they going? How about that? How about that? That time when they completely ignore you what you ask them to do, RC? You know that time? Mm. All I've done is change their attitude. It's a bit of an excessive bang. What the swear word are they did doing? You, uh, did you change yes, I'll their... See. Yes, I'll see. Yeah, you just change their altitude. That's it, right? Yeah, on both waypoints, which is odd. Must. I wonder if they're trying. I wonder if they. You know, they shouldn't have to lower their altitude to drop their bombs. Oh, maybe there is a maximum altitude for. I never it really thought about be. it before, but maybe there is. I wonder if they're coming around. Yeah. Oh. Must resist urge to shout W word. Must resist urge. Well, valued viewers, this could take a while, as it turns out. That's okay. You know why? Because we got oh the time in the world would they really maneuver that violently no you don't think they would maneuver that violently i'm having a hard time keeping up in my 9g fighter they are going away aren't they no they're not doesn't matter no yeah, they're gonna they're gonna go out and come back how odd they're twenty thousand feet they're back to 25 it looks like twenty thousand feet is the maximum they can bomb at minimum yeah no maximum maximum well, who would have thought valued of you? And one's just completely lost the plot, look. What a douche. Yeah. I didn't realise B-52s were dive bombers. Don't worry, boys. It's not like I've got a million videos to make. You take your time. No, two have got lost. We're down from eight to six. You could just stop and put it back in. Uh, no, I want to see where they... No, I want to see where they go now. This is all about okay. testing the AI now, RC. And okay. about my stubbornness to refuse to be beaten by it. I think I just saw them down lower. Now, nah, there they are. They're about 5,000 feet lower. 
because no reason. Pilots aren't as good. Tally turpits, tally turpits, one o'clock. Yes, here we go, we're turning in for the bomb run. Look at them. Bomb bay doors open. Uh, nope. But they are going over the ship. They're going to be extremely vulnerable this time. One guy's going high. Yep, one guy's coming up. Look at that. I wonder what's going through their little minds. Their little AI minds. I'm allowed to say that, aren't I? Never know nowadays. That AAA is going to be devastating at this altitude. Even World War Two AAA. Oh, going up. Going up. This is the weirdest friggin' bombing run I've ever been on, and I've been on some weird runs. Believe me, I know some weird people. I'll see. Believe me. Wow, Smoky Joe, look at that. So smoky. Oh, ho, ho, a guy just lost his face. That's unfortunate. Maybe we'll get a lucky hit with those bombs. Somebody just dumped a bunch of stuff yep. off. Yeah, they'll do that. Here we go, we're dropping. And I am drop cap, drop. Oh, oh. Right, absolutely no idea what's going to happen now. Oh, there they are. Wow, look at that. All the B-52s are dying. Well, some bombs will get through. There's some sticks. My graphics card says... Oh! Well, someone... Those are mine. Mine got through. My little 22 bombs were... Oh, here we go. Wow, the difference between the accuracy of the arc light and the uh, and the B-17s really is beggars belief. I think we've just killed all but one of the battleships. Wow, it's just pure amount of high explosive in an area. Not even really penetration bombs. Oh, here comes our seat. Boom, nice hit. 80%. Are you, are you doing your thing? Wow, look at that. Completely stupid and unrealistic in every way, but it is interesting how much damage you can do with an arc light raid. Okay, one completely dead, three red health, one is 10% damage, and one never hit any bombs. Okay, I'll see. So we have our data. Again, completely stupid and unrealistic, but fun. Could a B-17 single raid take out a single turpit? Pretty much no, as we found out in real life. It's just too hard, and we had pretty much perfect conditions. Could an arc light raid, a small arc light raid, take out the turpits? Yeah, easy. Could an arc light raid uh, take out a whole bunch of battleships in terms of damage? Yes, they can. Oh, look at that. I'll make sure that stays on camera, RC. <laughs> so there you go. Any any parting thoughts, I'll see it. If nothing else, yeah. it was plenty of boom boom. One thing I've learned about the valued viewers is they prize their boom boom above anything. I'm good. Bye.